we're going to be looking at finding multiples of what are called unit fractions, and we'll be using models and multiplication. Before we begin looking at the unit fraction, I just want to remind you that multiplication is just repeated addition. If we were to take 2 and add it to itself three times, that would be like 2 plus 2 plus 2, or 2 times 3, which we can also think of as 1, 2, 3 groups of 2. Remember we talked about that when we were learning multiplication. You could say 3 groups of 2. That's exactly what we're thinking about. We have 1, 2, three groups of two. Now all we have to do to understand this fraction, this unit fraction thing, is apply it to a fraction. So this entire rectangle is one whole and we have broken it up into a fraction. We've done that by cutting it into a certain number of pieces and by saying that we have a certain number of those total pieces. Okay and each of those pieces is one-fourth and we have one, two, three of them. So just like when we were multiplying a whole number, if we multiply a unit fraction, we can think of it as repeated addition. So what would that multiplication sentence look like? Try it. It would look like three groups of one-fourth. Remember? Three groups of one-fourth. Now in this case those groups just happen to be fraction pieces but each one of them is one-fourth. We have three of them so that's our problem. Well what would the answer be for that? What is three times one-fourth? What is three groups of one-fourth? Try it. But before you show that answer, um, I've been using the shorthand version of writing a fraction, which is what you can do when you answer for me if you're answering it digitally, because answering this way digitally is a bit cumbersome. But I have shown you this is what 3 times 1 fourth looks like, the way most textbooks are going to present it to you. Okay? And they're going to put the fraction bar in the middle with the numerator right on top of the denominator. Same thing as if it was the numerator fraction bar and then the denominator right next to it. Alright, so how did your answer do? Hopefully you got this one right. Three groups of one-fourth is three-fourths because how many one-fourths do I have? One, two, three. Okay, so we've taken three, the whole number, and we've multiplied it by the fraction one-fourth and there's something interesting about what we multiplied and what we did not multiply, which we need to talk about. And I'll show you that after the next example. So here's what you need to understand. This is the terminology, the math words that people are going to be throwing around at you. A unit fraction is one part of the whole. So one-fourth, that's one unit fraction. Okay. The whole in this case is three-fourths. It's all of the unit fractions put together. So just remember that. There's a unit fraction. It's one part of the whole. The whole is really a fraction. That's what it's going to look like. But we have to think about it as one whole by itself. That's made up of one, two, three unit fractions. All right? Here's another example. This time the fraction unit is one-sixth because I have um, a bar that's been cut into six pieces and that means the fraction unit is one-sixth. Well, in order to figure out this problem, we have to count how many fraction units we have and then multiply it by one. So try that. Try writing down the problem um, with the whole number, how many pieces, times each fraction unit. Go ahead. And you should recognize that there are one, two, three, four groups of one-sixth. So that's our problem. What's your answer going to be? Try it.
Did you get it? Four groups of one sixth is four sixths. Now, what I was talking about in the last problem, I want you to notice because eventually you're not going to be using these fraction pieces. You're just going to have to be looking at the math. Um, and when you multiply a whole number by a fraction, you just multiply the whole number times the numerator. You do not multiply the whole number times the denominator. It's just a simple one to remember. Um, later on, I'm going to give you a sneak preview, they're going to tell you to treat this whole number like 4 over 1, which I've shown you, hopefully you remember now, for a long time. Every number, every whole number can be written as a fraction with 1 as the denominator. Because this just means I have 4 whole 1 sixths, right? So 4 whole, 4 times 1. And when we multiply fractions, you'll remember, we multiply numerator across, denominator across. So that's where the, that's how the math works on this. Sometimes they're going to present it to you the opposite way. In this case, they give you the answer first. They want you to come up with how many groups of a certain unit fraction do I have? Okay, I'm going to give you a hint on the first one. This is what your assignment's going to look like today. All I have to do for the first one is recognize that these are sevenths, right? And I'm going to put a certain number as my numerator over here. No, excuse me. I'm going to put a certain number as my whole number, how many groups that I have. My numerator is just going to be one of those, okay? So try both of these. Write them down. What would they look like? How'd you do? Do you see? This is five groups of one seventh because five times one is five and we leave the seven alone or we multiply it times one and you get five sevenths. For eight twelfths, there's eight groups of one twelfth. See some patterns here? If they give it to you like this, I just have to recognize that the unit fraction is going to be whatever the denominator is and the unit fraction is only one of those. And how many groups are there? That's just going to be the numerator. There were eight groups of one twelfth in this case. So when you open up your Google Doc copy that you'll be able to write on and show me your answers, it's going to be presented just like this. This is number one straight out of your assignment. And when you first open it up, you will see a number symbol, which I know some of you call a hashtag, right here. And then if you take your mouse and press in there, the number symbol can be deleted by backspacing, and then you can write your answer. So what would the answer be for this? There's two-fourths. What's my unit fraction going to be? And then how many groups of it am I talking about? It's going to be two groups of one-fourth. And when you're typing it in, go ahead and type it this way. Don't try to come up with a fraction that looks like this. That's going to be too cumbersome in putting your answers in the small space, okay? Just leave it like that. That's it. Um, when you turn in your assignment, I'm going to be, make sure you do turn it in in the Google Classroom, and I will be able to tell you exactly how you do and answer any questions as we're going forward. All right, good luck.